All right, guys, we have a crazy 18 hours ahead of us. It involves traveling, it involves the desert, it involves cars, cameras, and more traveling. Unfortunately, it does not involve the van at all, but I think you guys will like this vlog if you just like the stuff that I do in general. So I'm at the Salt Lake City International Airport right now. I'm catching one flight and one flight only, and I'm really looking forward to these next, literally, what time is it? It's like six o'clock, and I'm getting back here at 3 p.m. tomorrow, so not even 24 hours. It's gonna be pretty sick. Let's go. So you guys are probably wondering, like, Lucas, where are you going? I'm headed out to Palm Springs in California, which is in the middle of the desert, to do some car racing. I used to, or am, or was a sports car driver for about like eight years. I'm going back to test one of the all new Audi RS3 race cars just for the morning tomorrow at a place called Thermal Raceway. But I've never been to this racetrack, never driven this race car, and I haven't been in a race car really in about two seasons, three seasons. So I'm just all around super amped. It is literally 97 degrees and it's nine o'clock at night. Like it's hotter than it is in Utah during the middle of the day. My man Edgar from Dollar Rental Car hooked me up with a complimentary upgrade simply because he saw my camera, said he loves YouTube, loves watching YouTube, and he was just into the fact that I was making YouTube videos. So it just pays to just talk and be friendly. So Edgar, if you do end up seeing this, thanks for the upgrade, my man. Really appreciate it. The all black Chevy Cruze, looking fine. Here to our hotel, we're staying at State Bridge Suites. State Bridge Suites, yeah, I've never stayed at a place like this. Looks pretty nice, pretty close to the airport, so pretty cheap. It's a win for me. Well, the lighting in here is just absolutely atrocious. See if they can make this any better. One more. Alright, a little better. Let's see, am I super overexposed? Let's see, oh yeah, wow, and, and white balance. Hold on one second. Okay, I think that's just a little better. I want to tell you guys more about racing because I feel like I was like rather brief about that and just like slid that in there. When I was like 16 years old, I started racing cars, sports cars, not NASCAR. We turned both left and right and I did that till I was about 23 years old, so I did that basically all the time for eight years. It was all I did. But I went to grad school, some stuff happened, and I kind of took a hiatus for like two to three seasons. There was a good opportunity with a car located here in Palm Springs, California. I'm in Salt Lake City. It was a rather easy flight to get out here. So to give you guys a little better understanding, I'm gonna cut in some clips of some race broadcasts as well as some GoPro footage from inside the car to give you guys a better idea of what I used to do and really what my main passion is. Lazard, then the battle for second position and Catania goes around the outside of Long for third. Andrew Long tried to go down the inside there in the blue 47 and couldn't make that one stick on the Kelly Moss racing car with the purple and black on the rear end of Jake Edson's car and Catania takes the opportunity. Great opportunist maneuver. <laughs> As you can see, it's a lot different than just like taking a car on a racetrack and driving fast. This was a very legitimate, professional setting that I worked very hard at for a lot of years to get up to where I was. So it's like 10 o'clock at night, I'm gonna grab some grub, try to set up a time lapse out the window or something, and I'll see you guys all in the morning. Hey 
Hey Siri, how far away is the Thermal Club? The only option I found is the Thermal Club on Tyler Street in Thermal. Is that the one you're looking for? Yes. Stay here in the Steve Bridge Hotel. It's a nice night of sleep. Now it's time to grab some coffee, a little breakfast here on the free continental breakfast. It's cool to see this place like in the daytime now. There's a good amount of mountains like over here, but definitely like in the desert. Kind of reminds me of like Las Vegas, and it's already freaking hot. So let's go to the Thermal Club. This is the hour, the darkest place. Dante's Inferno, the devil's It's been go, go, go since I got here. I checked the car out, then they put me in a BMW to learn the tracks. I've never been here before, and now I just got suited up to go drive the Audi R Street LMG race car. It's gonna be sick. Just gonna do some slow laps to test the car out, but there's nothing like this sport, nothing. So this is the car that I was just driving. It's the Audi RS3, complete race car. There's nothing stock about this thing at all. It's completely factory built from Audi Motorsport, meaning that it never was a street car that someone like kind of created into a race car. This thing is built from Audi Sport, which is their motorsport division as a race car, but it's just super refined. Everything about it just feels like a proper race car. you like a little helmet cam that I did just a few turns I don't know the track haven't driven in a while so it's certainly not the fastest lap I've ever set but it's still pretty cool to check out so the Audi RS3 LMG TCR race car press the start button there <laughs> So I'm with Drake. This is who I've been working with on the Audi. And this place is just nuts, dude. Professional racing driver. Yep, yep, like, solid. This is where you sleep? Is that your bed? Like, no, 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 that's the mechanic's bedroom. Okay, you know, gotcha. If we have an overflow. Uh, we do have a, a house upstairs. Okay. So a duplex, actually. Three bedrooms on one, on my side and two bedrooms on the other. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, this not is gonna, nuts. I'm not going to lie. It's weird being the only person that lives here this is your this is your whip right yeah you this, right? Was, this was my 2016 global mx5 cup car we have one of my teammates gresham wagner and in the back we got an old gt3 gt4 class 911 and the old trusty dusty mx5 trusty class. dusty yeah. you gotta drive this thing like a thousand horsepower viper on bicycle tires for some <laughs> reason you have to be so smooth a lot of people here built beautiful three million dollar man caves okay 
That's great. So they're all like you. A lot of them have this sort of garage. No, they built beautiful man. <laughs> okay, <cave. man. laughs> I've built functional. Right. We wanted the biggest functional box of a garage possible. Okay. And then build the house on top. Gotcha. Oh, There's young so young Drake. <laughs> every training center. Oh, nice, gym. dude. Yeah. Especially when you live so far from anything. Totally. Basically. And this is your view of the track. No shit. This is the track that we just drove right yeah. here. That's why it was absolutely insane. I think he said the garage was like 6,900 square feet or something, which is just nuts. It's 11 o'clock, like on the dot, 45 minutes to the airport, flight at like 1, 1 .15. So quick trip back to Palm Springs. I don't know what it is, my bag got searched again. Luckily I was like the only one in the security line, so it took no time at all. I'm literally in the airport right now, but I'm like outside. Isn't that cool? I've never been in an airport that does that. That's like literally so indoor outdoor, but being 100 degrees, it doesn't necessarily feel the best. Might even be hotter than that. And of course I'm in all black, the same clothes as yesterday, so boarding in like 20 minutes, then we're back to Salt Lake. A super small bathroom right now. My bags couldn't even fit in the overhead. Like my helmet and my backpack could barely fit. I had to check my bigger bag underneath the plane. I don't understand why they have overheads that just don't fit anything. I never had the window seat, so I can't ever film like us taking off without reaching over someone, so I think you guys get the point. Like an hour, hour 15 flight, and then we're back in Salt Lake City. It's absolutely cracking rain here in Salt Lake City. Like, I haven't seen it rain like this all summer, so I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything since that hotel breakfast this morning, so I'm gonna go find a Chipotle, of course, and eat. Thank you guys for watching. I'm pumped for the future. I know I've been slowed down on the uploads lately, but just been busy and I want to create good content for you guys rather than just make stuff for no reason. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Lens cap going on. Yeah.